Hi, I'm Benita, and I'm in Thronite Village. I decided to live in residence because I thought it was a really great opportunity to meet friends. Not only that, but especially people outside of your program and getting along. So the front desk of Raw Night Village is super great because it's open 24-7. You can do a lot of different things. One of the most common things is that a lot of people take out games. So we have ping pong tables and pool tables in the front. You can rent out those uh, tools using your Watt card. You can also ask the front desk assistants for any help if you want to navigate around campus, which is super useful the first week of classes, as well as you can send and receive mail. Ronite Village is a traditional style dorm residence where students have a meal plan. Just a few details about our dining hall. It has a really vast variety of food and it even changes every once in a while. So we have our steam table, which dedicates to warm food. We have our smoothie bar. And then if you're not interested in that, you can also just eat our chips or our dessert areas. They change daily as well. And then our steam table changes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So they always make sure you have a variety. One key point I think that the Waterloo Residence Eatery does very well is that it incorporates a lot of cultural foods, so I personally have gotten the chance to taste foods from a lot of different cultures that I've never tried before. So Ronite Village has its own laundry room next to the dining hall in the center of the residence. To do your laundry, you use your flex dollars, which is implemented within your meal plan. You'll use one flex dollar to dry and one flex dollar to wash. I'd say overall the Waterloo campus isn't too large. From Ronite Village to the center of the campus, which I would consider is the PAC gym or the Student Life Center, it takes around 10 minutes. And then my classrooms are quite similar in distance to the center of the campus, so it takes me around that time. So in Ronite Village, we have our own common area on each floor, on each quad, and within the entire residence. For each floor, you have a lounge, which includes couches and a TV. For each of the quads, you'll have a larger area to meet, but most often that's used for studying. And then in the center of the residence, next to the dining hall, you have this common area. Lots of people like to play pool or ping pong in those areas. And Ron Eye Village also has its own residence gym. So when it comes to facilities in Ron Eye Village, each floor has their own kitchenette. So that kitchenette includes fridge, coffee maker, toaster, whenever you need it. And it's also a sink over there. Now, one thing that really stood out to me to Ron Eye Village was its safety concerns towards students. So each floor is actually locked. Only the residents living on each floor can unlock their floor. So if you want to get to certain floors or rooms, you'll have to live there. One bonus is that the residences actually hold a lot of social events. It's a really great way to step out of your bubble and meet a bunch of different first years. I think a lot of the people on the floor have definitely made my resident experience. I've gotten closer with a lot of them, especially the ones in similar faculties or majors than I were. And since I'm not from the area, and when I first moved here, a lot of them have been super helpful letting me navigate through this area, including the transit and how all that sort of stuff works. I think Ron Eyed Village is definitely the most social building. It's completely made of first years, and there's a lot of first years in this area. There's a lot of people per floor as well, so you get to connect with a lot of people in one go. One thing I wasn't expecting was how close I became with some of my floor mates. I don't know all of them on a super personal level, but I've definitely built some connections. When I first got to campus, my first touch point socializing was actually on residence. So the first people I met were the people that were living right across from me. So really good to socialize on residence because you meet so many people in one go and living with other people definitely builds your connection with them.